You're going to be adapting the robot that you coded to conquer Angel Horse Maze, equipping it with a tippin' arm that be trippin' and modding the code so that it can tip all the cows in the new cow tip. Eight building, four coding, nine robot training. Let's do this, Scout. Time to start planning out your robot. Let's start by looking at the parameters. So your robot must have an arm at least nine inches tall so it can reach over the wall of Angel Horse Maze and tip all the freaking cows. It's gotta swing horizontally via a motor. It's gotta have an ultrasonic sensor mounted to the front so it can navigate Angel Horse Maze. And it's also gotta be stable. As you're planning out and sketching a design for your robot, which you totally should do by the way, it's very helpful. You're gonna start by thinking about your drivetrain. For your drivetrain, you can use or adapt the drivetrain that you used for the last Angel Horse Maze custom robot, build a completely new custom drivetrain from scratch, or you can follow instructions for one that's been built before, like the base model. Before you start building your drivetrain, be sure to watch the section in the last Angel Horse custom tutorial about how to properly build the drivetrain so that you don't run into issues with flimsiness. Now let's think about the arm. It can be tricky to build, so it's time for some hashtag armspiration! Hashtag pro tip. Check out how little G over here built her arm. Check out how she used the gears to get the arm swinging in the right direction even though the motor is mounted vertically and how she supported the output shaft and everything, all that good stuff. Now, you don't have to copy this exactly, but you can let the inspiration sink into your veins and then build. Also, I'll have linked below the part of the last Angel Horse Maze tutorial where we talk about supporting motor shafts so that you don't get the flimsy on the motor shafts. Does this mean that they're done building? Let's sing a song of celebration to celebrate. One, two, three, four. Dingle, 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 in this battle, you have to do two things. You have to train your robot to navigate the maze just like in the battle before this one. And you have to make your robot's arm swing to tip over all the cows. I'm gonna help you out with the code for this one. Let's go. For one of the last times before you level up and move on to Robot C, open up Mod Kit. Your robot may be a little different than mine slash Greta's, um, but I'm gonna need a drivetrain, a rotator for the arm, and an ultrasonic sensor. And I'm gonna assign the ports real quick. So then you're gonna open up the drivetrain settings and edit them so that they fit your robot build. You can edit your motor layout, like say if your motors are in the front or back of your robot, or if you have four. I think wheel grouping is if your wheels are connected by gears. Leave below in the comments if you know for sure. Um, the wheels in the kit are 200 millimeter ones, I think. You can also edit the dimensions of your robot. Editing these settings helps mod kit help your robot move better based on how it's built. And then remember gear ratios from the last Angel Horse Maze robot. If you need a refresh on what gear ratios are, which I know I had to go over that a lot of times before I got it, still not totally sure I got it, but there's a link in the description. So enter your gear ratio in the settings. Um, our gear ratio is 36 to 36 or one to one, so I'm gonna leave it. So the main algorithm for this robot is exactly like the algorithm that led you through Angel Horse Maze, right? Where it has the big forever loop and it constantly checks to see if the robot gets within a certain range of the wall. If it does, it'll stop and turn left. If there's still a wall there, it'll turn back to the right to check. If there's still a wall there, it'll turn back and come back the way it came. Look at how it has to hit the first wall and turn left before it unlocks that next if statement inside, which unlocks this next one. So like it has to see the wall and turn left before it can check and see if there's a wall which will make it turn right, which has to happen before it checks if there's a wall to make it turn back. If at any point there's no wall, it's just gonna drive forward. Before we move on, let's get our chunk of code to make the arm swing all ready to go. So let's think about this. We're not sure where the cows are, so we want the robot arm to swing every time it senses a wall, in case there's a cow on the other side of that wall, right? So we can't actually write the code for the arm to swing in the drivetrain tab of Modkit, which we're in right now, because you can only control the drivetrain. If you can't put your arm code in the drivetrain tab where everything else is happening, how the hell are we gonna tell it to swing at the right time? The way I'm gonna show you to tackle this is with broadcasting events. Drag in a broadcast block before you turn um, and then name it something you'll associate with arm swinging. Now let's go over to the arm tab where we can control the arm of the robot and say when the name of your event is broadcasted do the following. So if you can see what's happening we can call up this chunk of code that controls the arm from the drivetrain tab so that we can time what's happening with the drivetrain with what's happening with the arm. Now in terms of actual arm swinging code 
that's up to you. You can start by setting the speed to whatever you want and remembering that 60% speed is default. You're gonna have it swing out a certain amount and come back. That specific distance will depend on your robot and it'll require you testing it. One last thing to remember about broadcasting events is that if you don't tell the drivetrain part of your code to wait for the arm part to finish, it'll just broadcast the event, keep running through, and it'll all get all messed up because you'll be turning and running the rest of your routine while that arm's still swinging. Um, so you've gotta kind of time it out a little bit. Every time after I broadcast the event, I put a wait block for maybe one or two seconds to pause the drivetrain routine while that arm is still swinging before I turn and do my next step. We want the arm to swing every time the robot senses a wall, but before the robot turns so that it's all lined up when it swings. Okay, don't forget to save the code. So I'm gonna show you one last tip that helped me conquer the maze. So when your robot first senses and stops at a wall, you want the distance that it is away from the wall to be pretty small so that the arm can reach over and tip the cap. But if your distance that the robot has to be away from the wall is small, then there's something that can happen when you're navigating the maze where after sensing a wall, when it turns to the left, it might be so far away from the wall that's now in front of it that it doesn't unlock that next part of the code where it, it sees that it's in front of it and then turns right. Um, the sensor might say, oh, there's no wall in front of me. So it goes forward until it hits that wall now, kind of starting over that loop and it'll check left, which can get you stuck in the loop of death. So in the algorithm, we keep the first distance the same so it can get right up close to that wall and tip the cow, but the distance it checks after that and then after it turns right, we're gonna make bigger so that once it turns, that range is now expanded and it can actually see that wall that might be a little farther away from it. Not a lot of this makes sense right now, just let it sit. Save the code, it's battle time. So, this battle is pretty straightforward. You gotta navigate the entire maze and tip over all the cows. Cows are placed at certain checkpoints around the maze. The only rule is that you have three love taps allowed. The grind never stops, rise and grind. <laughs> 